Michael with Michael Talks Metal back for some more Metal Madness today. But before we jump in, if you feel like supporting the channel and helping us out, we'll subscribe if you could. If you like the content, drop a like. If you appreciate it, the channel would certainly be grateful. So let's do this. Our topic for today is another precipitation hardening nickel-based alloy, wasp alloy. The UNS designation for the chemical composition is UNSN07001, and the AISI alloy number is 685. Capable of high strength after heat treatment, wasp alloy has applications in aircraft or turbine components that require heat and oxidation resistance at temperatures up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on specification, vacuum melting and or consumable electrode melting is required. Remember, CEM. And as in all of the precipitation hardening types, wasp alloy receives a solution anneal that is followed by a somewhat complex hardening treatment to develop final properties. A stabilization heat treatment is followed by a precipitation heat treatment. Details of these heat treatments are beyond the scope of this video, but they're often contained in the material specification and much or all of the heat treatment is usually performed by the producing mill. And so let's do a little chemistry today, guys. Get comfortable. All right, here we go. Chemistry, ready? Here we go, ready? It's a long one. Carbon, 0.02 to 0.10 to 0 0.10. Manganese, 1% max. Silicon, 0.75% max. Phosphorus, 0 0.030 max. Sulfur, same, 0 0.030 max. Chromium is 18 to 21%. Cobalt, 12 to 15 percent. Molybdenum is three and a half to five percent. Aluminum is 1.2 to 1.6 percent. Titanium, 2.75 to three and a quarter percent. Zirconium, 0.02 to 0.12 percent. Boron, 0.003 to 0.01 percent. Copper, 0.5 percent max. Iron, 2 percent. And mm, nickel. Balance. Yes, we made it. Done, right? Good job. You made it. Now, because there's two producing mills, Cartec and the other guys, density is 0 0.294 and 296. So when you have two separate producing mills, the notes will be on both in the description, uh, the densities can be different. And so there's a slight variation of 0 0.294 to 0 0.296, just based on the producing mills. And so it also is depending on the condition as well. We have different specs, different conditions, and so whether it's a mill or a spec, the density in this one for the first time varies. So please be advised. Now, the permeability at 200 Ersted in the aged condition is 1.004. The minimum mechanical properties in AMS 5707, the longitudinal solution, the solution and stabilization and precipitation heat treated carries 160,000 PSI tensile strength, 110,000 PSI yield strength, 15% elongation with an 18% area reduction of area. And so the specifications are going to be pretty easy today, right? What do we got? We got AMS 5544, sheet, strip, and plate, and annealed. We got AMS 5704. Forgings at 1,825 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Solution, stabilization, and precipitation heat treated. AMS 5706, bars, forgings, and rings, 1,825 Fahrenheit to 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Solution, heat treated. AMS 5707, bars, forgings, and rings, 1,825 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Solution, stabilization, and precipitation heat treated. AMS 5708, bars, forgings, and rings. 1,975 degrees Fahrenheit, solution, heat treated. AMS 5709, bars, forgings, and rings. 1,975 degrees Fahrenheit, solution, stabilization, and precipitation, heat treated. There you have it. You guys have been great. Sticking by. It's tough. Long ones today. Appreciate it. So as we've told you, our loyal, loyal viewers, who we are so grateful for having, we've told you many times before, Specifications and part requirements can add to or alter the information we have presented to you today. And so for time, 58. 
Got that right today. 58. Check. The. Spence. Right? Check. The. Spence. Toys. So thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Michelin Metals is a distributor of Wasp Alloy and supplier of Wasp Alloy. If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed, click there. Appreciate it. If you missed our last video, click there. Thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. If you have any other questions about metals, look at our website, michelinmetals.com. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. See you guys next Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. I'm out.